Good morning, everybody. So we're waiting for the others to join.
Okay, guys, so I will uh, share screen now. But still many haven't joined yet. So, uh, yes, Maya, I will allow you to unmute yourself, Yella, one second. Yes. Yes, Maya. Um, yes. The writing, I didn't send you it yesterday. Can I send it today? Yes, no problem. Okay, okay guys, so let's start. Uh, still, Safa. Yes, Karim. The lesson is very easy. Yeah, it's easy. We took many difficult grammar lessons, sah, the tenses and so on. Hello, from now on, all the lessons are easy. Yeah, let's start. So guys, we have um, we have started. last week um, with a reading comprehension lesson and a new theme. So this week is going to be a grammar week. Um, the lesson that you're going to cover today is very simple, very easy, very interesting. It's not difficult at all. Okay, Ahmad. So, uh, our lesson for this week is about countable and uncountable nouns. First of all, who can tell me what do we mean by the word countable? When I say something is countable, by raising your hands, please. Yes, Kelly. Sorry, Ms. Makan, I didn't turn on the telephone. It's okay. Yes, Karim, what do you mean by the word countable? Countable means that they can be counted. They can be counted, very good. When I say something is countable, it means you can count it, okay? You are able to count this thing. That when I say uncountable, what does that mean? Um, yeah, nothing not, nothing can, you, you are not able to count, mm -hmm. very good. So when I say, Countable, it means you can count it. When I say uncountable, it means you cannot count it. Okay, you are unable to count. This is the difference between them. So who can tell me some countable nouns if you know? What are some countable nouns that you know? Yes, Karim. A book. A book. Very good. A book. A book is a countable noun. What else? What else, Miss? A TV. A paper. Yes, Miss. Miss a museum. A museum, for example. Okay. So when I say uncountable, who can tell me what do we mean by uncountable? Who can give me a noun which is uncountable? You cannot count it. Sand. What? Um, our hair. Sand. Hair, very good. Hair is an uncountable sand. noun. Sugar. We can't Sugar. count the sand. Very good. Water. Water, excellent. All of these are uncountable. Salt. Very good. All of these are uncountable nouns. Okay. So let's now move to this chart. This chart shows you exactly the differences between countable and uncountable. Let's see how. Anna, when I say countable, as we said, it can be counted. 
When I say uncountable, it means it cannot be counted. Let's see how. If I said an apple, I'm using an to show one apple, a school, one picture, two pictures. So I'm using numbers, I'm using a, I'm using an in order to show how many apples or schools or pictures do I have. Okay, now. The uncountable, as you can see, if you look at the picture here at the chart, you can see sugar, information, water, understanding. So I am not using an or, um, or a or one or the numbers. And I'm not saying, for example, one water, one information. I'm not counting. Okay? That. This is the first difference between them. Now, the countable nouns can take singular or plural verbs. Let me show you how. Anna, when I say there is a book on the table, where is the verb in the sentence? Where is the verb in the sentence? Yes? Yes, Kenny? Yes. Where is the verb in the sentence? Yes, is? Is. On is, the, is the verb. On the. Very good. Is. is. So there is a book on the table. Is is a singular verb or a plural verb? Singular. singular. A singular verb. Very good. So this is a singular verb with a countable noun. Let's see the second example. Those houses are very big. Are is a singular or a plural verb? Plural. Plural verb. Plural. Very good. So is and are. Plural. Yes. So, so the summary here is that Countable nouns can take singular verbs and plural verbs. Deal? Let's see the uncountable nouns. Let's read the sentence. There is some water in that pitcher. There is sugar in the jar. Is, I'm using is. Is a singular or plural verb? Singular. Very good, it's a singular verb. So, does an uncountable noun take a plural verb? Does it take a plural verb? Hello? No. 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 So, the countable nouns take um, singular and plural verbs, while the uncountable nouns take only singular verbs. Let's see the third difference. The countable nouns go with a, for example, a school, and an umbrella, the, the book, my, my car, and so on in the, so on in the uh, singular. Yeah, for example, she bought an umbrella. He is eating an apple. She is reading a story. I am driving my car. While the uncountable nouns do not go with a, an, and two. She and a two. Two means only the numbers. You know, Anna, I cannot say, do you hear to two music? Uh, drink two water. I cannot say this in uncountable nouns. That's why it's different. Okay? That's why it's different. So, in countable nouns, they can go with an, a, the, my, and so on. In uncountable nouns, they do not go with any of these. In countable nouns, number four, you can use 
the plural nouns with some, any, many, and few, and you can use them alone. يعني أنا, I can say, I love carrots, and I can say, I love some carrots. I have stories, I have many stories. So I can use them in both ways. Okay, now, in the uncountable, you can use some, any, much, and little, and they can also come alone. Yani, Anna, I can say there is little information about the weather. There is information about the weather. Both are correct. And the last difference is that in the uncountable nouns, you can use the numbers one, two, three, four, etc., and a and an with coffee and tea. But when you are talking about a cup or a glass or a bottle, yani, for example, Give me two water bottles. لأنه عم بحكي bottles, so I can use numbers. If I said, uh, I want two cups of tea. I want two glasses of water. Okay? So this is what do we mean by uh, countable and uncountable nouns. Is everything clear till now? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Time. Let me erase the scratch. And let's move to an, a, some, and any. Guys, can you hear me? Yes, miss. Ah, uh, okay, okay, sorry. Yes, I, thought, I thought I lost connection. Okay. So A and some and any. First of all, let's look at A and an. A and an, which are used with singular countable nouns. Yana and I say there is a Bottle. Both of them are used with singular now noun, accountable nouns, but a is used for consonant sounds and an is used for vowel sounds. So there is a bottle. And there is an apple on the table. This is the difference between them. Some and any are used with countable nouns and uncountable nouns how for example i say there is some cheese in the fridge this is an uncountable noun if i want to use the negative form here i say there isn't any cheese in the fridge and if i'm using the question form i say is there any cheese in the fridge so, daemon in the negative and in the question, I use any. Daemon in the negative and in the question, I use any. So, some is used as affirmative. There is some cheese in the fridge. There isn't any cheese in the fridge. This is the negative. And if I'm asking a question, is there any cheese in the fridge? So, I'm asking. Okay? Clear? Yeah. Now I will give you some time to solve this exercise.
you have to fill in the gaps with a and some and any. <coughs> Sorry, and match the sentences to the pictures. No need to match the sentences to the pictures. Just fill in the blanks with a and some and any. Take your time. Start doing the exercise. Yep. Miss, I'm done. Yeah, let us give them some time, yeah, Karim. Of course. Miss? Yes, miss. Yella, guys, ready? Yes, miss. Yella, smile. Miss, best pay attention. We have number one, two is next to it, not under. Yani one, two, three, four, okay? Yala yes, my. Uh, there is an apple juice. And...
Yes, Miss. Yes, Smile. I couldn't hear you. There is an apple. An apple. There is an apple. Very good. Number two. Yala, quickly. Maya. There aren't any oranges. Very good. Number three, Karim. There aren't any eggs. There aren't any eggs. Very good. Abbas. Abbas. Yala Abbas. Yes. Four. There isn't any sandwich. Unta there isn't uh, a sandwich. There isn't a sandwich. Yes. Yes, and the sandwich is countable. Low he uncountable can and there isn't any sandwich. Very good, Abbas. Number um four. There isn't a fit with the Abbas. There is you did number five. Hello, number four. There is who will do the butter one? Adam, yes, yeah, Adam. There is some butter. There is some butter. Very good. Number five, we did it. Number six. Yala, Gabi. Yes, Chris. Yala, number six. There isn't any milk. There isn't any milk. Very good. This is the negative form. Dayman in the negative, we say there any. Yeah, we use any. Uh, there isn't any milk. Number seven, there is pineapple. Can I what? Can I do number seven? Yes, sure. Sure. Yes, Sarah. Okay. There is pineapple juice. There is some pineapple juice. There is some pineapple juice. Very good. There are bananas. Yalla, who will do this? Yalla, Sarah Ahmed, Sabine, Riwa, where are you? Other than Karim and Ismail, yalla, somebody else. Amjad, Ghadi, Hadil. Yes, yes, miss. Yes, yes. Almost. Number eight, ready. Yes, miss. Yeah. There are. Ready? Yes, yes. Yes, please, can there... I do? Yes, there are some bananas. Thank you. I'm shot. Number nine. Um, uh, Matthew nine. Oh, uh, uh, there aren't uh, any, any cakes. There aren't any cakes. Very good. Miss. 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 Yes, Hadil. Yes, Miss. There is some bread. There is some bread. Number eleven. Miss, there isn't any rice. Yes, very good. Miss, can I do? Yes, Maya. There are some tomatoes. Mhm. Mm there is a. Uh, there is a jam. No. There's jam some jam. Some jam, very good. Yes. There, there isn't, isn't any cheese. cheese. There isn't any cheese. Very good. So now we're done for today. Tomorrow we'll continue with the next uh, with the next part of the lesson. Thank you all for attending, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank Bye. you, Miss. Bye. Bye, Miss.